it's day 31 and I've uh, run for 30 days. So it's just been routine, you know, 50 to 55 miles a day and you kind of get your legs after 20 days or so. This man started to run the Pony Express Trail. It's a trail that runs from Sacramento to St. Joseph, Missouri and be just over 2,000 miles and the guy's running 50 plus miles a day. You know, it amazes me to see him, you know, get up every morning. It's, it's like it's no big deal. Hey, the police have been great. I've been pulled over three times by the police so far. What the hell are you doing out here? Are you, you like... lost? <laughs> I mean, the guy's just been going and going without stopping, without complaining. Uh, it's just incredible. Thinking about running 100 at the end. I do think about it, and I do think it's very much doable. It's my signature distance. So uh, we'll see what happens. People ask, well, how many shoes you go through? And I say maybe seven or eight. And it's like, wow, that's a lot. But if you look at the miles, yeah, I blew through a pair of shoes in nine days, but I went 460 miles. You'd think, the, you know, his feet would be all crooked or the bottoms of his feet would be one blister, but his feet are perfect. It, just, it shouldn't be like that. You know, it's, a, it's hours and hours, day after day on your feet, on your body, on your joints, on your tendons. Yeah, he makes it look easy because he's the elite of elite in his sport. I mean, he golfed yesterday. Yeah, we're taking a break. We're here at the Hebron Country Club, and we're gonna rip a few off the tee box and uh, play some golf. He ran 23 miles, stopped, golfed nine holes, and then ran 24 more. It was amazing. Uh, today's day 38 and three to go, and uh, it's exciting to be almost done, you know, pretty psyched. It's been pretty surreal for the last month and a half. Carl, you know, in, in typical Carl Meltzer fashion, decided that just to put his stamp on the Pony Express, he's going to run not 100 straight miles into St. Joseph's. My signature distance, I like to race 100 milers, so why not throw this twist in the end? This guy just ran 2,000 miles, he's going to run 100 from front to back at the end. Mind-boggling. Day 39, we're all prepped for uh, the last final 100 miles. I'm excited to run 100 too, to really challenge myself a little bit. It should be interesting. Motors should arrive here at the Pony Express Museum on Penn at about 10 a.m. today. Last day 40. We're 2.8 miles into it, 97 to go. This experience has changed me, I, I would say. I think for me, it, it may have opened a couple doors to get out and you know, really do something and, and persevere through it. Guy's gonna do 100 miles in one push. It's a pretty cool way to put his stamp on this. He's flying right now. This'll be his fastest split, I bet you. You know, I'm gonna miss these people. I'm gonna miss, you know, the morning breakfast, the crew stations, the dinners, the having a beer with Carl. I'm sitting on 80 miles into it right now. It should be light another two hours. To, to watch him complete such a journey and know how long it's taken and, you know, mentally and physically, it's, it's hard to imagine. I just feel really thankful for everything, for the opportunity, just seeing someone do something incredible. Carl's approaching his 90 mile mark. The most memorable thing about the Red Bull Human Express has just been uh, just the adventure of doing it. How many people get to do this? You know, I get to tell the story about 40 days on the road running 50 miles a day. Remembering it is the coolest thing about it. Good chair.